But what's going on guys it is skull side back again with another minnesota vikings daily video sorry about missing upload yesterday you know just got caught up with a bunch of things and i was really looking into what this video is about right now and that's mike zimmer's contract extension and frankly i'm excited about it and that's the breaking news that's kind of came out of the vikings camp the past few days is mike zimmer got extended um that's what we're talking about in this video some channel things i am doing i'm looking into the rookie training camp right now see where i can get my best information to give you guys a full like update every couple of days on what's going on making like i said like a hard knock type of thing should be coming out tomorrow the first rookie training camp update but anyways let's talk about our new head coach for the next couple of years mike zimmer I was so excited when I got this news that Mike Zimmer was extended. I've been a huge Mike Zimmer guy for the Minnesota Vikings for a while. And frankly, a lot of people, they don't really agree with that. I feel like some Vikings fans are a little on the fence about Zim. Mainly because like we've always, I feel like under the Zimmer era, we've always been good. And we've always, always been around. We've always been in playoff contention. No matter what. <clears throat> no matter what, if Teddy got hurt, We've always bounced back, always been scrambling through random quarterbacks, and now we finally have one that seems to be there for a while. We finally have a stable quarterback room in Kirk Cousins now, and before that it was Bradford, Keenum, Teddy, a bunch of guys thrown in there, and Zimmer's always kept us winning. That's what, and that's why I didn't get why people would be disappointed we weren't winning Super Bowls. You know how hard it is as a coach to lead that to a Super Bowl? Like, no disrespect to Teddy. I, Teddy's one of my favorite Vikings of all time. No disrespect to Teddy, Keenum, Bradford. They were all great for us. But to overcome not having even, like, a top 15 quarterback in the league, that's tough. Now, Zimmer finally has Kirk Cousins. He's finally got guys on defense that he's built. He's built the Neil Hunter. He's built Eric Hendricks. He's built Harrison Smith. And he'll build Jeff Gladney, Dantzler. He'll build all these guys into being what he wants them to be. And I love the deal. Two years, $5 million per. I think that's a great deal for Zimmer. I think that's a great deal for the Vikings because it gives Zimmer more, a more stable feeling for the next three years because, you know, we got a bunch of these rookies coming in. And especially this year, like, if the rookies don't hit this year, you can almost blame some of that on COVID. So that's also why I feel like it was a good thing to extend them because this year you never know what's going to happen. This could be week four and the whole NFL could shut down. So you don't want them then the next year be like, oh, contract extension. Last time we saw Zimmer was the 49ers game and then the Saints game. And we didn't really see what happened last year. Anyways, I think the two-year extension is perfect. And however, I do, I do think it was, uh, it was right to not make it more than two years. Because, yes, Zimmer's been good for us, like I just said, for the past two minutes. I think he's been really, really good. But has he been great? And that's what it takes in the NFL to win a Super Bowl. Good will get you to the playoffs. Great gets you to the NFC Championship game, gets you to the Super Bowl, gets you holding that Lombardi trophy. That's great. And will Zimmer be that coach to take us there? Who knows? But I think if you give him this year and then two more years after that, fine. Let him develop the rookies. He's finally got Kirk Cousins, stable quarterback position. I'm fine with it. I think it's a great move for the Vikings, and I'm really excited for it. I've always said, you guys are going to like this analogy, I've always said Kirk, or Mike Zimmer is the Andy Reid, or the Andy Reid of defense, in meaning that Andy Reid, he's, everybody's talked about him up until this year. Everybody's acting like Andy Reid, that they love Andy Reid, and he's like this great coach. Everybody's talking about that. Before this year, everybody's still saying, can Andy Reid win the big game? It's a lot of the same noise you hear from people coming from Zimmer, like people who hate on Zimmer. Like, everybody knows Zimmer's a great defensive mind, but can he get you over the top? Andy Reid got him a homes. Maybe did Zimmer get his Daniel Hunter? Who knows? Daniel's finally coming on. Could be same correlation. Once Zimmer gets that Super Bowl, once Cousins gets that Super Bowl, it all goes away. However, that's a big what if. I think it's a good move. I think this will set us up to be very successful in the future. Next three years, Vikings fans. I mean, we're gonna all we know is I'm gonna have a really I'm gonna have a top ten quarterback and I'm gonna have a top ten head coach. And honestly, that's all I can really ask for at the end of the day. Our roster's still loaded. So excited for the season. Video on rookie mini mini I keep saying mini training camp. Rookie <laughs> training camp. Tomorrow, I've been doing a ton of research looking into this. 
I don't know, like, even stupid stuff for you guys. What drills they got going on. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel. Vikings football is just around the corner, and I want to spend the season with you guys. Thank you so much. Sub to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Love interacting with you guys. And thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.